Afternoon everyone from Northern Alberta. It's uh, March 16th, it's about six degrees out. This is my first check of my hives that I've wintered. Um, hopefully some made it, I guess we'll see. It's my first time ever wintering, so we'll see what happens. We'll go take a look and uh, hopefully the outcome is good. Um, yeah, you just never know. You just never know what uh, <clears throat> what can transpire over the winter time anyway, but here's the hoping and stick with me. I'll get the covers off here and we'll assess the situation and we'll give them a pollen patty and go from there. Okay, so I'm one for two so far. I've got this one opened up and uh, I gave them a pollen patty. Um, I think they're quite happy. They're already they're already into it, so that's good. The colony looks strong so far, so here's the hoping. That's on a double, meaning two brood chambers, and uh, yeah. Uh, this one he beside it didn't make it, um, which is, is okay, that's to be expected, so is what it is. Okay, let's check the other ones here and see what happens. See if we're in any better situation here. story short um, notice a few different things um, I don't know if I should have used three-quarter inch shims uh, under the inner covers it was just an experiment I guess um, another thing I never gave them pollen in the fall which I'll give them pollen in the fall this time when I went during 2019 and you know see what see what happens differently um, I'll winter them, I'll wrap them with uh, the regular wrap that you can get from BeeMade. I'll do that. Um, as far as um, other supplements, I think I had enough syrup in there to, to last them, but you know, you just never know. So it was, uh, it was definitely a learning curve. I'll try a few th different things this next fall and and I'll uh, get some syrup into them and some Mavivar strips and uh, hopefully this is a good sign to a strong start for uh, the spring. Anyways, stay tuned for the next clip. Ventilation. I didn't I didn't make the entrance to juicer big enough and between the shims allowed too much moisture in and uh, yeah. That's the, I got all this frost here and stuff like that, so ice built up, it got too cold, moisture. Anyways. But they haven't been dead long, I'll tell you right now. That's the way it goes. Live and you learn, it's a learning curve. On to the next phase anyway, we'll get them cleaned up and ready for the next, yep. next batch. <laughs> 